Today we're talking from Isaiah chapter 12, verse 2, about God's song of salvation. Listen to this verse. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For Yah, the Lord, is my strength and my song. He also has become my salvation. Now, if you were to go back to Isaiah chapter 11, you would see how it speaks powerfully of the reign of the Messiah as king over all the earth. Now, coming in Isaiah chapter 12, we have a brief chapter of praise coming from the heart of the one who has surrendered to the Messiah as king and the one who enjoys the benefits of the Messiah's reign. The song begins with this word, Behold! It is an invitation to see what the worshiper sees. You see, the worshiper wants others to see what he says is true. That that worshiper in Isaiah chapter 12 is excited about what God has done in his life, and he invites everyone to behold the work of the Lord. Then he declares this, God is my salvation. Now, to say God is my salvation is also to say, I am not my salvation. My good works, my good intentions, my good thoughts do not save me. God is my salvation. You know, many people don't ever feel the need for salvation. Instead, they think that their lives are fine and they come to God for a little bit of help when they feel like they need it. But they never see themselves as drowning men or women in need of a rescue. Or they don't see themselves as hell-destined sinners in need of salvation. Yet, the worshiper here in Isaiah 12 sees the need, and he is so immersed in this idea that he repeats it in the same verse. He says, God is my salvation, and then he says, he also has become my salvation. But next, notice what this worshiper of Isaiah 12 declares. He says, I will trust and not be afraid. This is the peace and security that comes from knowing that God is my salvation. Now, If you are your own salvation, it's pretty hard to trust and not be afraid in yourself. But when God is your salvation, you can trust and not be afraid. The Apostle Paul repeated the same idea when he wrote in Romans chapter 5, verse 1, Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. The place of peace and trust and no fear comes only from seeing our salvation in God and not in ourselves. Now, that worshiper of Isaiah 12 makes it even more emphatic. He says, I will trust and not be afraid. That's a confident statement reflecting the will of the worshiper. He has decided to trust and not be afraid. Now, there are feelings of trust, but those are different than the decision to trust. You can say to your will, I will trust and not be afraid. You know, sometimes we make faith far more a matter of feelings than it is. There's no place in the Bible where it says, feel and believe, or even try and believe. Instead, it simply tells us to put our faith on and in Jesus Christ himself. Don't wait for the feelings you think you should have with faith. Instead, simply proclaim, I will trust. The worshiper continued. He said, For Yah, the Lord, is my strength and my song. The Lord is not only the worshiper's salvation, he's also his strength and song. Some people find it easier to consider the Lord their salvation in some very distant, oh, someday I'll make it to heaven kind of sense, rather than to take him today as their strength and song. You know, when the Lord is our strength, it means he's our resource. He's our refuge. We look to him for our needs and we're never unsatisfied. When the Lord is our song, it means that he is our joy. He's our happiness. We find our purpose and life in him and he never disappoints us. Isaiah chapter 12 gives us some great words from a worshiper, but the song sounds even better when you are that same worshiper. You can make this your song too. I hope you do so today.